Hello, we are Nafiat Nadifa and I'm Chika Nabila. We are from Satu Banyuwangi, Indonesia. This is our first robotic competition that both of us joined into. Our, our team, team name is Delta Robotic 5. Summary of our work. Our challenge task is to collect points as many as possible in 5 minutes of the game. The category of Goosebiz Challenge that we participate in is Rescue for Step U19. Problems that we faced when programming are First, since this is our first time, both of us have to get familiar with the rules and the play of this challenge. Second, we have some troubles when the robot encounters a trap. Sometimes, instead of turn, the robot gets stuck in the trap that caused we lost our point that we have collected. Third, we also had some troubles when depositing the points, just like the robot didn't want to deposit all thought. It's on the deposit area and has to take the deposit color. The methods that we use in our program are using RGB sensor to detect colors and collect the points, using three ultrasonic sensor to avoid the obstacles, walls, and the trap, use position X and Y to more define what should robot do in a certain area, use the K action to more defining what should robot do and where should robot go in a particular condition. The result that we got from using our methods are the robot can detect and collect many points, the robot can avoid the trap so we won't lose our point and avoid the wall, the robot can go to the deposit area by using the RGB sensor that we have set before and then depositing the points. The challenge mission. Our challenge mission this time is collect points as many as possible and depositing them together and also try to get a high score. Our mission can be broken down into some mini tasks. They are find object and collect the points, deposit the points that we have collected, and avoid the trap. Tools and resources. Wheel left or wheel right set the speed of the wheel. Plus 100 is for maximum speed forward, minus 100 is for maximum speed backward, and zero is for stop. LED underscore one. Zero is for LED off. 1 is for LED blinking, and 2 is for LED on without blinking. K action. Find object which used to finding the object. Deposit which used to depositing the point that we have collected. There is two deposit. Deposit 1 is for graph forward after deposit, and deposit 2 is for graph backward after deposit. Tools that we use in this challenge are 1. Position X and Y to more define what should drop by 2 at a specific area 2. Compass for stay in moves to certain position 3. Time to arrange our robot in order to do some action on a span time 4. The key action to defining what should drop by 2 in a certain condition 5. Wheel speed is for the moving and 6. Ultrasonic sensor and color sensor to detect color and to avoid an obstacle or a trap Implementation The methods We use four methods in our program. They are First, using three ultrasonic sensors to avoid the obstacles and trap. The sensors are on the front, right side, and on the left side of the robot. Second, using RGB sensor to detect colors and collect it. It's also used to detect the deposit area. The sensor is below of the robot. Third, use position X and Y to define what should the robot do in a certain area and use the key action to more defining what should the robot do and where should the robot go in a particular situation. Fourth, use the markers on the map to help us encode to the deposit area. For this, we use the RGB sensors to detect the color and the key action to make the robot turn to 0 degree or 180 degree. Debugging. Our program is semi-random, so we can guarantee that the robot will run 100% as we planned. 
so we tried as possible to expect what problems the robot may face and also running the game more than 3 times to see which programs we got crushed into another. And this is our flow chart. Conclusion 1. Result We focus on how can we make a score that relatively high. 2. Future improvement First, randomize movement within a black object axis zone to maximize object collection. Second, make the zone-based pathfinding code more modular and easy to modify to fit other maps. Third, in a specific zone, calculate the position of the robot based on the last known coordinate and the robot's orientation and velocity. Fourth, several code would occasionally not work, there be check any contradicting code and use specific code instead one workaround would be to ensure smoothness move.